I started, I was praying in English and I just started praying and speaking in tongues. And I went on, I would say for hours. Lord, I pray for anyone watching this video right now. I pray that if they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, God, that right now, Father God, they would just receive that. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my personal testimony and experience when it comes to speaking in tongues and praying in tongues. Guys, I'm super excited to share this with you today. It's been like two years since I shared this story on my channel. So I felt like I should share it again. I know a lot of you have been asking questions about this, especially on Instagram lately. So I want to give you guys some scripture and also my testimony. But before I get into it, Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload and give this video a thumbs up. So to start off with my story of being baptized in fire and speaking in tongues, I was saved around like 13 years old. So I've like grown up in the church all my life, been raised in church and got like, I would say truly saved around 13. And that's when I started actually going through sanctification and just growing close to the Lord, especially like through the years of high school. So when I was 17 years old, I was a little skeptical on speaking in tongues, not like completely. I was open to it. And I have at that point asked the Lord before I did ask the Lord before to allow me to speak in tongues. One night, I was in my room just like normal praying and worshiping and spending time with the Lord and reading my Bible and just, I just remember like speaking out like praise phrases like I bless your name Lord or worship you, I praise you. And all of a sudden like the Lord's presence just like filled my room like never before, like I never felt it before at that moment. And I started, I was praying in English and I just started praying and speaking in tongues and I went on, I would say for hours, just praying and speaking in tongues. And I was just in awe and amazement. The thing was like, I wasn't choosing the words I was saying. And it was really cool. Cause like, I could be totally thinking about something else, but like, you know, praying and speaking in tongues because I wasn't the one choosing the words I was saying. However, I could control whether I opened or shut my mouth. I wasn't choosing the words that I was saying. And that's actually scriptural. In Corinthians, the Bible says that the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. So you are able to control when you open and shut your mouth. If you allow the Holy Spirit to speak through you, if, or if you don't allow the Holy Spirit to speak through you, just like if you were speaking in English, like if you want the Holy Spirit to speak through you, you got to open your mouth, right? You got to be obedient, right? So it takes faith and obedience. So anyways, I just went on for hours speaking in tongues, praying in tongues, and it was amazing. However, I also want to break the stigma that you have to have this big old crazy experience and where the presence of God just hits you like never before and it's big old emotional experience every time you speak in tongues. That is, I would say, not true. It doesn't always have to be like that, although sometimes it is. But when I'm praying in tongues, like I can just start speaking in English and speaking in tongues at any given moment. So that is, I don't know, I hear a lot of people say like, oh, you have to be like in this, you know, emotional state in this church service where the Holy Spirit's really moving and that's what, no, it's just like a switch. Like you're just praying faith. Like you just open your mouth and you just start speaking in tongues and the Holy Spirit prays through you. That happened and I have been praying in tongues since then, since I was 17 and I am 21 now. I'm going to be 22 in a couple months but I've been praying in tongues for years, every day. I would say every day, I don't go a day without praying in tongues. And it has really edified me, which is also biblical, but it has really edified me and built my faith. And I noticed from 17 on, when I started praying in tongues, when I got baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire, my life, like holiness-wise and obedience-wise to God changed drastically. Like, sanctification-wise, I started, like, cutting out more secular things, TV shows, movies, music, etc. I just noticed a huge change in my life, holiness-wise, unto the Lord since then, and purity in just things that I was watching or listening to or the things that I would say was just a lot different. I'm going to share some scripture verses with you guys. 
starting in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. And it says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. This is John the Baptist speaking here in Matthew. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. So John the Baptist was talking about Jesus coming after him and how Jesus will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. In Acts chapter 1, verse 5, it says, For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. And the next scripture verse we're going to is Acts chapter 2, verse 4. And I'm actually going to read this one on my Bible. I've been reading the scripture verses off my phone. But it says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Wait, hold on. To preface this, this is in, this is on the day of Pentecost. So it says, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the Holy Spirit is giving you utterance. He's giving you the words to say. You don't have to sit there and try to think of words to say. You don't have to try to like learn how to speak in tongues, but it's the Holy Spirit praying for you, through you. He's giving you that utterance, which is so cool. In Mark chapter 16, Verse 17, it says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in tongues. So this is something that follows us as believers. It's not a requirement for salvation. I believed I was saved before I started speaking in tongues. However, it is something that is given and is available for every believer. It's a gift. And if you are a believer, if you are born again, you are able to speak in tongues. I believe in have that gift of speaking in tongues. That is my personal belief according to studies that I've done. And I just believe that this is a gift that every believer is able to have. And one reason I believe that is the Apostle Paul talks about this in 1 Corinthians, which I'm going to read to you. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1 through 5. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men, but to God. So you're speaking to God, for no one understands him. However, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries, but he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation and comfort to men. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself. So remember I told you earlier, it's really edified me ever since I started speaking in tongues. I've noticed a major difference in my walk with the Lord and my holiness unto God. But he who prophesies edifies the church. Paul said this here. Listen to this. I wish you all spoke with tongues, indicating that all are able to speak with tongues, but even more that you prophesied. For he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks with tongues, unless indeed he interprets that the church may receive edification. You're speaking to God. It says right there that you're speaking to the Lord. Now, there is two kinds of tongues, and the two different kinds of tongues that I am currently talking about right now is giving a word in tongues or praying in tongues where the Holy Spirit is praying for you through you and how you're speaking to the Lord. Your prayer language is what I call it. There is a confusion between the giving the word in tongues and then speaking and praying in tongues. When you're giving a word in tongues, it's where you're edifying the church and someone interprets so there's edification of the church and it builds the faith in the church. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about praying in tongues your prayer language, the Holy Spirit praying through you. Praying in tongues is between you and the Lord. Romans chapter 8 verse 26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helps us in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And I think this is really cool because the Holy Spirit can help us when we do not know what to pray. So a lot of times when I'm praying, I'll be praying in English and just praying normally, talking to the Father. And then sometimes like I don't know exactly what to pray or maybe I feel led to pray for something or for someone, but I don't know exactly what to pray. But I'll just start praying in tongues and the Holy Spirit is interceding 
for me, which is really cool. And after that, a lot of times the words after I've prayed in tongues start coming to me and I start praying in English again for that situation, person, or what is ever going on at that time. So I think that is really cool. The Holy Spirit helps you pray, and that's awesome. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18 says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. So we are supposed to be praying always in the Spirit. I highly suggest praying in the Spirit every single day as soon as you have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In the book of Acts, there was five accounts of people being baptized in the Holy Spirit. And when they were baptized in the Holy Spirit, a lot of the times, actually every single time out of those five times that people were baptized in the Holy Spirit, something happened outwardly. So when you go to Acts chapter 19, Paul actually came across some disciples in Acts chapter 19, and he said, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? So they said to him, we have not so much as heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. And he said to them, into what then were you baptized? And so they said, into John's baptism. Then Paul said, John indeed baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying to the people that they should believe on him who would come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them and they spoke with tongues and prophesied. So a lot of times, so there's five accounts of People in the book of Acts where they were like laying hands on people and they were getting baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. There's five accounts. Three of those five accounts, it says specifically that they spoke in tongues. And the other two out of those five accounts, it was outward. It was things happening outward. So it could have been speaking in tongues. It just doesn't say it specifically. But all of them, they were either speaking um, in tongues, they were prophesying, they were proclaiming the gospel with boldness, they were speaking out loud. Something was happening out loud. And what I believe is happening here is the overflow. When you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, you are overflowing. So it says in John chapter 7, verse 38, He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. So out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. And I believe when you're baptized in the Holy Spirit, you are like overflowing. So something has to come out of your mouth, whether you speak in tongues, whether you prophesy, whether you proclaim the gospel with boldness, something's got to come out of you. If you're truly filled with the Holy Spirit, you cannot contain that, which is amazing. When you're totally just baptized with fire in the Holy Spirit, there's something has to come out. There is evidence, there is fruits of the Spirit that will come out of your life when you're truly baptized in the Holy Spirit, which is amazing. So guys, all you got to do, if you want the baptism of the Holy Spirit, if you want to speak in tongues, all you have to do is ask and ask in faith. God knows your heart. He knows if you're truly saved or not. You got to be saved first. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You got to be saved. You got to make the Lord, the Lord of your life first, but just ask for the Holy Spirit to baptize you and speak in tongues and believe that in faith and do it. Lord, I pray for anyone watching this video right now. I pray that if they have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, God, that right now, Father God, they would just receive that in the name of Jesus with the evidence of speaking in tongues, Father, that they would receive their prayer language right now, God. I pray your Holy Spirit would just come over them and baptize them with fire in the name of Jesus, God. I'm believing this for them. God, pray that they would have faith in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we just love you. We praise you. We bless your holy name in Jesus name. Amen. So guys, that's my testimony. And basically all I have for you today, I just wanted to share those quick scriptures with you and also my testimony. So if you have any thoughts on this or any testimonies or any encouragement, make sure you comment that down below, continuing the conversation. I'm super excited to keep hearing your thoughts and chatting with you down below. If you feel led to give or to sow into my ministry, all those links are down below. Whether you partner with me on Patreon or PayPal by one-time donation, I greatly appreciate it. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Keep looking to Jesus. Remember that everything's going to be all good and peace out. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out my other videos over here and subscribe over there.